allied forces have launched air and sea strikes against military targets across Libya. President Obama said the coalition must act to save civilian lives. Our consensus was strong and our resolve is clear. The people of Libya must be protected. Anti-aircraft fire in Tripoli as Colonel Gaddafi's supporters remain defiant. The Libyan leader says the Mediterranean and North Africa have become a war zone. Libyan state television said the bombing killed 48 civilians and wounded 150 more. Welcome to BBC News with Juliet Dunlop and me, Martine Dennis. Now, Western forces have launched air and missile strikes on Libya as part of a UN-backed plan to establish a no-fly zone and prevent government attacks on civilians. The United States said Britain and British naval, uh, American and British naval forces fired more than 100 cruise missiles at air defence sites. Now, the targets were mainly around the capital, Tripoli, and in the western city of Misrata. Well, within the past few years, there's been further aerial bombing of Tripoli, prompting barrages of anti-government aircraft fire from Libyan forces guarding the capital. French military aircraft went into action first over the rebel-held city of Benghazi, which was under attack from government forces. The Libyan leader, Colonel Gaddafi, said the Mediterranean and North Africa had become a war zone and warned that civilians in the region could be targeted. And in a statement broadcast on national television, Colonel Gaddafi said the Libyan people would be armed to resist what he called colonial aggression. Well, Gavin Hewitt reports now from Paris on the lead-up to these attacks against Colonel Gaddafi and the Libyan military. This was the day when the international...